Hello, in this Tesla update video, I'm going to show you all the new features of the 2022.44.25.1 update. So I'm in the UK, so certain features may be slightly different or may not be available for me because I know Steam is now available. But again, that's I wouldn't have it. I'm pretty sure it's available in this country, but I wouldn't get it anyway because yeah, it is available worldwide. Just looked on my phone. I wouldn't get it anyway because I've got a Model Y. It has to be a Model S or a Model X with the 16 gig of RAM or more variant. So the Model X 2022 variant. So that's just something to bear in mind. Hopefully they bring it to the other systems as well because I would like to have it in my Model Y. So one of the first things is Apple Music. So for anyone that has Apple Music, you now have that. And the other thing is, uh, I'm not going to go in exact order, you got media controls. So you got this little media control right here and you can swipe and that swiped. It's got the some current drive details since charge, the odometer, so the total number of miles that's been driven and the tire pressure as well. So that's just a cool thing to check at a quick glance. If you swipe up, you can get all of the different, you know, sources. And Apple Music, as you can see, is right there. So that's Apple Music. What else do we have? So there is dog mode and I'll come back to this very soon so there's the schedule light show and this just basically means you can schedule it for up to 10 minutes in advance so that means if let's say you're getting a couple of people ready or you're sorting something out you know outside you don't have to you know turn it on immediately go outside and then you start viewing it you could you know have a have a bit of you know leeway time it's a shame it has to be only up to 10 minutes but still better than nothing and you get some climate control fan speed as well so you can adjust the fan intensity while remaining in auto climate by selecting low medium and high from the fan intensity selector on the climate control pop-up and then there's automate automatic indicator mode again i'll be enabling some of these features and testing them out there's some improvements to the game mahjong some like a more modern lock so feel free to check that out there's confirm phone call transfer so when you let's say your phone connects via bluetooth to your car instead of the audio automatically transferring over maybe you're on a call you do not want somebody to hear somebody that's in the car to hear it you'll confirm it so you can say no or yes let's say if you've got um, I, I don't know if you've got it to your ear for example so that's a cool feature contact lookup so if you've got your phone connected you can access you know your contacts now so you can do that by going to the application launcher you know the phone just there contacts search icon and media control that we showed you missions testing mode via mobile app and so yeah mission testing mode can now be used from the mobile app long press any quick controls icon from the fan home screen and drag the fart icon to the top row it's pretty cool and you can do an always rainbow mode as well so again let me show you some of the features so if i just if i go to do, 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 i'm gonna go to toy box and if i go to light show you can do schedule and now i can schedule a light show so i can because it's right now 2 31 pm i could do it in two minutes in up to 10 minutes as well and then enable dance moves as well so move charge boards mirrors windows and boot and then you can obviously set the volume and you can also choose the light show that you want and you can even create a custom light show if you want to so like i said steam is also available that's a model f and model x the dog mode i'll be showing very soon media controls i've showed you and there's the climate control fan speed so if we go over to climate control now whilst we're in climate control we're going to click auto and now we have low medium and high so that's medium that's low so before you wouldn't have had you know these options but now you do instead of only being able to change the intensity of how much air is coming out when it's not on auto you can do it on auto as well which is you know it's a useful feature and okay so they the no feature that's available but i don't have is zoom meetings so if you're in the us you'll be able to access that and to do the always rainbow you just go to your application launcher go to toy box rainbow road and now that has been enabled and again i'll show you the schedule light show now let's have a look at the auto turn signals to do that you go to 
go to my settings, go to controls, you go to lights, 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 where am I looking? Uh, auto tone signals, do, 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 do. look at that, lights. Okay, automatic indicator mode and auto cancel. Your indicator will automatically turn off after a merge, fork, or lane change has been completed. If the vehicle detects an upcoming turn or another lane change in the same direction, the indicator will not turn off until the maneuver is complete. Note the indicator will cancel based on the steering angle regardless of the selected setting for automatic indicator mode so that is a you know i think it's a useful feature to have again you can do you know contact look up you just go to you know your obviously i won't show my contact but you can go on there and uh, actually yeah okay so that's got a mismatch of contacts it's got mine and my wife's been mixed in to there and yeah, so there's a track mode which is available in America. There's an auto present door handle which, you know, not valid for me. And other than that, that's it. Obviously, the swipeable cards as well that I showed you right here. And yeah, there's some other improvements to the navigation UI as well. So, what I'm going to show you now is a new update to sentry mode and dog mode. It's called, you know, dog mode. It's a dog mode improvement, but it still works for sentry mode as well. Basically, what it allows you to do is activate the internal camera so you can see the internal view of the car and see you know what's going on. So see what your dog is doing, or just see in general if you want to have a quick look. You can't activate it. So let's say if I go to my Tesla app. And one second, I'm going to I'm actually gonna switch over to my phone. I'm gonna start recording my phone screen and you'll be able to see that. So I'll see you momentarily. Okay, so we are now on my phone. So I'm sitting inside the car. If I click sentry mode, you can't activate sentry mode, you know, or dog mode whilst you're in the car. But so I'm gonna just get out for a quick second. Now outside, I don't know if you'll still be able to hear me, you should be able to. So I'm fully outside now. I'm gonna go back, click live camera. This works with dog mode as well, like I said. Okay, so let's have a look at the automatic indicator mode. So if I indicate and go over, it doesn't turn off, but if I turn it on, and I go over now, it automatically turns off, even though I haven't done any drastic turn on the steering wheel. And the last feature I just want to show is the rainbow road that requires autopilot. So I'll put that on. 